Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a huge pattern change that's coming for 2024 that's going to really change the weather entirely across the United States as multiple storms will be impacting the United States over the next 7 to 14 days and these will all bring lots of rainfall some snow even for parts of the United States and there's one storm in particular that could be fairly large in the United States that'll bring a mix of rain, some severe weather, potentially even a winter storm as well for parts of the United States. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast. And let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. And we'll first begin with the Northeast, and that is where a low pressure system is finally moving out to the east. Now, for many of you that have been watching these forecasts for the last several days, there was a low pressure system back over in Nebraska and Kansas about seven days ago that brought blizzard like conditions to many areas in Nebraska, South Dakota, and even northern Kansas, and this system literally sat over the central plains for multiple days, and it was over the Midwest for the past 48 to 60 hours as well, and it is finally now moving out to the east, and now it's moving through the northeast, and that's now actually moving out of those areas that have actually picked up a couple inches of snowfall in areas like Maine and New Hampshire today. So that system's finally out of here. We've been talking about that for the last seven days, and now our next storm that is currently ongoing is back over in the upper mid west and it doesn't look like much and by the way it's really not that much of anything to be worried about but this system is dropping out of canada and it's a pretty slow moving system on its own and what we're actually going to be watching for over the next 48 hours is some snowfall in parts of the midwest and the great lakes region we might see an additional one to two inches of snow in a few spots but again nothing really that crazy i will be talking about this later in this forecast as well in terms of the total snowfall as well for that entire region back over in the central plains a little bit of cloud cover really not much to be worried about Many areas, though, across the United States are much drier than what we've seen over the last few days. Notice the Great Plains back into the southeast. Overall, fairly dry. Yes, it's cold in the southeast, and by the way, that's going to be sticking around for a pretty good amount of time as well. So that's not leaving anytime soon, and it'll also become much more active as we go throughout the upcoming week and even the following week as we are in an El Nino pattern. Speaking of active, we're going to now talk about the weather pattern that's upcoming across the United States, and to look at that, we're going to look at the jet stream and the pink and purples that you're seeing here are the upper level winds and that's where it's the strongest and notice as of right now we do have a little disturbance that's back over again in the upper midwest right now this is going to bring a little bit of snow over the next couple of days but nothing too crazy otherwise it's really quite quiet across the united states but that's not going to last very long because once we go into this week we are going to start to notice a much more prominent el nino pattern which means we're going to be watching for multiple disturbances to come out of california just west of there out of the pacific ocean and these low pressure systems are going to continue to ride basically along the same area, bringing the risk for showers, some storms, and even some snowfall. Additionally, colder weather will also come with these. So this is by Tuesday. Notice we're going to be looking at a little low pressure system moving through the southern plains. This will bring some rainfall primarily to those along the Gulf Coast. So if you're anywhere further up to the north, I'm not expecting nearly as much up that direction in terms of like the Midwest. There will be a disturbance, I believe, around Tuesday or Wednesday. Even if we see this, though, it's going to be very minimal and it's going to be like light snowfall and it's again not going to be really anything that's impactful at least for Wednesday what becomes a bit different though is once we get closer to Thursday into Friday a bit of a larger storm starts to develop as we get closer to Thursday and Friday of next week and again this is the first week of January so this is when weather becomes a bit more active during this time of the year and notice again a low pressure system here by Friday into Saturday and this could also bring some impactful weather with showers some maybe even some thunderstorms we also might even see some snow here in parts of the central and maybe even southern plains once we go into next week like late next weekend into the following week so around january 7th to 10th this storm in particular on the long-term computer models has been very 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 consistent with both the gfs and the european model for the last couple of days now and the reason why that's a bit more concerning is usually when we look at long-term models like 200 250 hours out usually they're not very accurate and i don't think this is overly accurate i do think things are going to change a bit but what this entails basically is a pretty large storm and this would be the large storm on the horizon that we're talking about around january 7th to 10th and this would be something to watch for because again this would be a pretty large trough notice the jet stream very very strong and that's usually a pretty good sign of a large storm in addition to that this might even be negatively tilted so we might get a little bit of a severe weather threat out of this maybe on the southeast side so when we look at the future radar this is what it looks like a bit more in detail so again over the next couple of days small clipper system in the ohio valley in the midwest very light snowfall i'll be talking about the snowfall totals 
later in this forecast so make sure you stay tuned once we go closer to tuesday into wednesday high pressure dominating much of the united states we'll be watching for our first storm out of this train of storms that we're going to have on tuesday into wednesday this will bring some showers and storms to the gulf coast since this is going to be so far down to the south we actually could get some maybe some isolated snow flurries on the back side of this in parts of north texas maybe arkansas and the reason why we might see a couple of isolated snow flurries would be because of how cold it'll be on the back side of this but overall it's not going to cause any accumulation this is not a winter storm sort of threat by the time we go through wednesday another small little system will move through the great lakes more snow is to come again it's light snow but it's something again maybe an inch or two for some areas but again it won't be anything too crazy dominant high pressure system by thursday into friday another little clipper system in canada so again we're gonna have multiple of these as we go through january and these will bring overall again just light snowfall it won't be anything crazy by the time we go into friday the storm that we're gonna be looking at on friday and a saturday might be a bit more concerning we might see a little bit more of a snow maybe mixture potential in parts of the central and southern plains but again since we're so far out things like this could easily change in the long term maybe some showers and storms along the gulf coast and if this does happen we'll end up seeing maybe isolated severe weather there by the time we get closer to sunday into monday again this would be the time frame to watch for it would be january 7th the 10th this is when we will be watching for a larger storm overall and again notice the european model picking out the potential for even a winter storm side of this low pressure system which is something we're not going to see really with the other two low pressure systems would be a winter storm and on the southern side we might even get some severe weather so if this ends up happening which again is still a bit of an if even though the computer models are hinting at it since again we're still seven to ten days out from this happening if this ends up happening we would be looking at a bit more of a significant threat overall across the united states with at least some aspect of severe weather whether that's a lower or middle ground sort of threat that's again to be determined and then on the other flip side of this we'll be looking for that winter storm potential that will also be something to watch for across parts of like the midwest the northern plains but again things like this could easily shift further to the west further to the east the severe weather threat might you know not even exist by the time we get closer to this time frame so again stay tuned make sure you're subscribed to the channel and we will keep you posted with the latest on this upcoming storm but that would be the large storm again that's on the horizon here's what we're looking at in terms of the temperatures over the next several days so again below average temperatures will continue across the southeast as we go throughout the early to midweek that'll change a little bit as we get closer to the late week with slightly warmer weather it's not going to be much of an increase though we're going to go right back to below average temperatures by the time we get to friday and then as we go into the weekend into early next week we'll stay a little bit warmer across the midwest but again if that large storm ends up happening colder weather would usher in on the back side of that almost undoubtedly across the great plains and temperatures could drop 10 to 15 degrees below average in some areas but by no means are we talking about an arctic blast at this time this is what the gfs model shows again very similar sort of story if this low pressure system happens we'd be looking at colder weather on the back side of that so just to kind of show you the resemblance there again both computer models are showing basically the same thing and lastly, I want to show you the Midwest snow potential over the next 24 to 48 hours. Again, notice tonight there'll be some snow flurries, light snow out there across Wisconsin and Illinois. A bit more snow activity tomorrow morning when you're waking up in southwest Michigan, even into Indiana. And as we go throughout the afternoon and evening tomorrow, that threat will shift a bit further out to the east, primarily for Ohio, Michigan, even Pennsylvania, and as well as Indiana for tomorrow. In terms of snowfall accumulation, again, it will not be much. The highest snowfall totals would probably be in northwest Indiana or southwest Michigan where lake effect snow is possible that will lead to maybe a couple inches of snow again it wouldn't be much most other areas will be likely to get somewhere around a coating to an inch or two but again not everybody will see that that'll stay a bit more scattered overall thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already